My name is Zara Ahmed. I am a 23-year-old journalist that works for the Flint Journal. My dad was pretty passionate about politics. You know, Saddam Hussein killing people that didn't necessarily agree with him wasn't just, and uh, he and a group of revolutionaries began overturning cities in southeast Iraq. The country that I'm in right now is going to war with the country that I'm from. And it was like violence all the time, I felt like. You know, I would go to school and I'd hear about it, or you'd go to the store and you'd see like CNN or Fox News and it would be just like American soldiers going to Iraq and things getting blown up and, you know, all the little banners that go across this many soldiers killed. But growing up, you had this complete different perception of what you were as an Iraqi. So. I mean, to put it in the best terms, people called you a, you know, a jihad or a terrorist or made bomb jokes at you. You start trying to blend in. You don't speak your native language as much. You stop eating the food that your mom made or you stop listening to the music. You stop going to the parties. You stop partaking in the culture as much, right? You become pretty Americanized. I felt like I was very Americanized and when I got into college, I have all this freedom and yet I don't know who I am. I don't know what to do. I think Iraq is getting better. I think it's getting better, but it's slowly getting there. There's green in Iraq. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I was gonna walk into a desert. I really did. Because even when you look at the TV and stuff, it's so dusty from the rubble and the war. Like, you just think it's gonna be tanks and collapsed buildings and dust, right? Not at all. There were date trees, there were bushes, there were palm trees, there's grass. It was beautiful. So, post Saddam, you also have a lot of hands trying to grab at power now that there isn't one person in power. The wealth isn't distributed properly, just like it's not here or anywhere else really. A lot of people are starting to step up and try to be responsible. I am very hopeful in the younger generation. They are very open-minded. They're using social media to connect with one another, something they didn't have before. They're very outright and outspoken. Iraq was the first country in the Middle East to allow women the right to vote, to allow women into their government. Uh, women have the right to own property, file for divorces, have their children, all of that stuff. For people that are immigrants that may have left or children of immigrants, I strongly recommend going back to your country of origin. You have ancestors that have survived a certain amount of time, that have survived certain things to get to where you are right now and you should pay them some tribute by going back and understanding at least where they came from. I didn't value my culture or my identity for a very long time because I was raised in the United States and because my culture and my identity seemed threatening to other people. But being able to go to Iraq and come back with all these wonderful memories and this changed perspective, I can now educate people on what it means to go there. I can tell people it's really not as scary as you might think it is. And the people there are so hospitable and they're so welcoming and they want you to come and visit. They want you to they want you to challenge yourself. And they're gonna they're gonna hold their arms wide open for you to come. 